Martin Laughing here for Alternative Heating Solutions. I just did a video on cleaning the ashes. And what I do before I clean them, I just shut the stove off and wait till it cools off good. I think the water is down to 152. Uh, it's better for the refractory and a lot less chance of getting burned on something. If you try to do it when it first shuts down, that stuff is incredibly hot. You're going to have an issue. But since I've started it, it was Thanksgiving, I've not yet pulled that plug. I'm going to pull that, and we're going to see what we find. I actually fully expect to see a little layer of ash in it. Probably hard. I've been burning nothing but um, ash trees that the Walmart ash borer killed for like five years now. And it always gets hard. I did it with the 400. I did it with the G200. And when I cleaned the left port out there, there was a layer of hard, crusty ash in it. So we're going to see. And while we're at it, we'll see if we can possibly melt in our phone case. We got the supplied tool here. Just need to break it loose. And it just screws right off. I'm going to set that down. And like I said, I kind of expected to see some of that. That big pile is because it's right up against the plug. But I think you can, once you get further in, there's hardly any ash in there at all. But I bought guarantee when I go clean that out, it'll be hard and crusty. Now you can see the rest. That's not even anything to worry about. Not sure what it is about ash. It just seems to form that crust for some reason. This has been Martin Lappin of Alternative Heating Solutions. If you find our videos helpful, or even a little informative, please subscribe to our channel. And as always, if the women don't find you handsome, at least they can find you handy.